Happy Saturday to Dolphins fans. We have breaking news because Tyler Huntley has officially been named the starting quarterback according to head coach Mike McDaniel. And we're here to break down that news and what it means for the Dolphins this upcoming Monday night against the Tennessee Titans. But first, this is why you subscribe to the channel because we're going to update you on all Miami Dolphins news. And we told you the entire week on the channel that Tyler Huntley should be the starter. And if the Dolphins wanted to potentially save their season with Tua out, they would have to turn to Tyler Huntley because Skyler Thompson and Tim Boyle are not it and now mike mcdaniel makes the move official naming huntley as a starter so hit that sub button because we're also going to be live watching that game on monday but let's break down Huntley and what he can bring to the table for the Miami Dolphins because after he was signed about a week and a half ago off of the Ravens practice squads, the Dolphins 53 man, it felt pretty clear that they were eventually going to have Tyler Huntley as a starting quarterback if Skylar Thompson was not able to perform. Now obviously if Thompson went out there in Seattle threw for 250, led the Dolphins to a win, they weren't going to go to Tyler Huntley as a starter. But with Thompson looking as bad as he did and then being banged up with that ribs injury, the only logical thing that the Miami Dolphins could do if they wanted any chance to win this upcoming Monday is to start Tyler Huntley. Huntley has a track record of being able to fill in. Now, is he some unbelievable all-pro quarterback obviously not he was on the Ravens practice squad but the jokes aside he did actually go to a pro bowl in 2021 because of the, all the times he had to fill in for Lamar Jackson now it was a pro bowl alternate don't act like he had some crazy pro bowl season but it is funny to mention that he legitimately was at the pro bowl now Huntley in his career has started nine games all being in Baltimore he has a career three and six record and He's not going to go really change the status quo, if you will, but he is definitely someone that knows how to drive the bus. And I think that's the important thing. And I believe if Mike McDaniel is the offensive guru and mind that we think he is, I think he's going to be able to tailor make a good game plan for Huntley against the Titans. The Titans who, even though they have Jeffrey Simmons, have not been good against the run in this season so far. They give up 124.7 yards per game on the ground, which ranks 20th in the NFL. And Miami can really lean on their run game in this game. And that's the part that excites me the most, is when you have Devon HM, you have Jalen Wright. We'll see if Raheem Mostert plays, but he's trending in the direction where he might be able to go, dealing with a chest injury himself. So to me, I think you're going to see a way different offense in Miami. Less maybe... Well, I wouldn't say less motion, less movement, but less straight play action dropbacks. It will happen, but I think they're going to run the ball first to set up the play action and utilize Tyler Huntley's legs because that's the part of his game that makes him so enticing. Huntley has ran for three touchdowns in 500 yards in his career. Like he is someone who can make things happen with his legs and it's his best feature. So I expect Mike McDaniel to utilize it and then have that set up his passing game. We're going to continue to talk about Huntley and what he will do for Miami here, but let me know how excited you are. Scout 1 to 10. How happy are you for Tyler Huntley going to be the starting quarterback? I'm at a 9.7 because I don't think there's any other option that Miami could have turned to, but let me know yours down below. As we continue to talk about Huntley here, um, he's not the best passer. Like that, that is well documented that he's not going to go drop back and beat you. But it's fun to look at the idea and the numbers that he has because he has made some nice plays in the past. And he's not going to go out there and throw for 300 yards or anything like that. But Listen, 1,900 yards in his career in nine starts, eight touchdowns, seven picks, nothing crazy special. And by the way, that Pro Bowl was in 2022, excuse me, not 2021. Um, in that season, by the way, where he made the Pro Bowl, he threw for two touchdowns and three interceptions and 658 yards while starting four games, having a two and two record. So it is kind of something funny to think about. But either way, Huntley, who was on the Browns 53-man roster um, and then got released right after he made the roster, went to the Ravens practice squad, and then was scooped up by the Miami Dolphins when they needed a quarterback. But he completes 64.6% .6 of his passes in his career, and I expect a lot of quick game and running. And here's the thing that also excites me as well. 
and we talked about this in our preview yesterday, is that the Miami Dolphins actually have had one of the top rushing attacks at, in the NFL when running in between the tackles when it goes from left guard or in between Austin Jackson, Teron Armstead. Miami is actually 13th in the NFL, averaging 4.6 yards per carry. I expect that to be utilized quite a bit. Now, they have not been that effective running zone schemes into the outside, whether it be on a pitch or a zone. And I think Huntley might be able to change that because, well, if you do read options or offensive schemes like that, then, well, if those edges crash, well, there we go. And Huntley is able to get to the outside. And it's going to be fascinating to see how McDaniel uses him because he even said this week that he has a package and type of plays in his playbook going back to the time he was an offensive coach on the Washington Redskins team at the time when Russell, or not Russell Wilson, um, RG3 was the quarterback in his rookie season when he was phenomenal and looked like he was going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. And I'm not going to say that Mike McDaniel is going to make Huntley be the best quarterback in football. That's not even going to be close to what I'm saying. But he is going to have enough plays and packages to make it at least manageable for Huntley. And I think it's awesome, too, that he has rapport with some of these wide receivers. I wouldn't say Tyree Kill, but Jalen Waddle said this week during one of his media sessions that he practiced with Huntley and trained with him at times over the offseason in South Florida. Huntley's from this area. He wants to play for his hometown team. And I think it's a really cool story that he's going to get that opportunity this Monday night against the Tennessee Titans. And now that Huntley is the starter, I feel a lot more confident in this game being won. You guys might call me crazy. You guys might call me an optimist. But now that I officially know it's going to be Huntley, I think the Dolphins will be able to win this game, get back to 500, and then they'll have a game in New England, which I also think could be one with Huntley. These next three games are very important for Miami because it's the three games that Tua Tungavaloa is mandated to miss being on IR he can return week eight against Arizona and I don't know if he does or if he doesn't return week eight I feel like there's a decent chance he does in his first opportunity because you also have a buy mixed in there so there's still four weeks until that game and I think Huntley could go two and one three and oh in these next three games and if he does that and Tua returns and the Dolphins are three and three or four and two like you're gonna be in a pretty good spot to still make the postseason and I know a lot of people might be down on the Miami Dolphins right now, but I'm still going to remain positive. I'm still going to remain with the idea that this team could make a run because of the talent they have on offense and the talent they have on defense. And I do believe that this is still something that could happen. Now, I want to shift the conversation to Tim Boyle because he is actually going to be the backup for the Dolphins on Monday night. Mike McDaniel announced that as well, which means Skylar Thompson, who's been dealing with that rib injury all week long, is likely going to be inactive, which is fine. I don't think he'll be placed on IR or anything like that, but it looks like the quarterbacks will be Tyler Huntley as a starter, and then you'll have the... Um, oh, we also just got some breaking news. Oh, boy. Sorry, this is coming in as it happened. Both Teron Armstead and Kendall Fuller are ruled out with concussions on Monday. Oh, boy. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, as, as we're filming this, we're getting that coming in, which is tough. Um, Raheem Mostert's also trying to play in the worst way. You're seeing this as it comes in here. Oh, boy. Okay. But this is going to be news, obviously, for Miami with Teron Armstead and Kendall Fuller. Because let's shift the conversation to there now. And this stinks. But... Teron Armstead out with that concussion. What does that mean? Well, I would expect Kendall Lamb to start in that role. Um, I would not go with the rookie Patrick Paul. I would expect it to be Kendall Lamb, the veteran swing tackle, who actually played pretty well when he came in for Teron Armstead against the Seahawks. He was actually one of the highest graded players on the Miami Dolphins team, according to PFF, from that game. So I would expect Kendall Lamb to start. That stinks. Now, other side of things, Kendall Fuller. This one's actually maybe more impactful than the Teron Armstead injury, which is crazy to say, because the Dolphins are very light at corner. Storm Duck has been injured all week. Um, Saran Neal has been injured all week on the injury report. So this now means that you might have to rely on Ethan Bonner, who was excellent during training camp, excellent in the preseason, but has been a healthy scratch every single game this year. He might be called upon to be a starter this week and get 
legit roles. But this also likely means with some banged up players in Saran Neal and um, Storm Duck that Nick Needham, who has been a longtime player for this Dolphins team, has been on the practice squad, is going to get elevated for this Monday Night Football game. That is my assume assumption. Um, I know some people have been saying that Patrick Paul can start. I think they're going to go with Kendall Lamb. We'll see what they ultimately do. Um, but I think it's going to be Kendall Lamb because I feel like they're going to go with the veteran there. But kind of a shocker that Armstead's out. And like I said with Kendall Fuller, I would expect Ethan Bonner to be active for the first time this season. And I would expect Nick Needham to get elevated from the practice squad. All right, that's going to do it for today's show. Uh, I know a little bit of a chaotic show where we talked a lot about Tyler Huntley and then the news of Teron Armstead and Kendall Fuller came in and we broke that down here at the end. But that's why you subscribe because we're going to have you covered on everything surrounding the Miami Dolphins. So hit that sub button and I'll see you tomorrow with another video before that Monday night game. Peace out.